grace and peace to you today. I hope that you are continuing to stay safe and stay well as we make our way through these days. Well, here I am at one of my most favorite spots in the whole wide world. No, in the whole universe. <laughs> and that is at the seaside, at the beach, enjoying God's creation. I'm sure you hear the waves in the background and you probably hear the breeze blowing and every now and again, you're gonna see a vehicle pass by or somebody walk by. But here we are on yet another lockdown weekend. And it's not just an ordinary lockdown weekend. No, as far as I am concerned, this is a lovely lockdown weekend. Come on, say it with me. Lovely lockdown weekend. I didn't hear you say it one more time. Lovely lockdown weekend. Some time ago, I was chatting with someone and we were talking about all of the ways that the coronavirus has negatively impacted our lives, our nation, and certainly our world. I said to the individual, this too shall pass. To which they responded, yeah, but it seems as if there's no end in sight. And that's true. That's how it feels sometimes, doesn't it? Well, I simply replied, we may not see the end, but at least we are seeing the beginning of the end. The beginning of the end. It's almost like saying the end is near. Those words are cryptic, mysterious, aren't they? Of course, when I say the end is near or the beginning of the end, I am not predicting some doomsday apocalypse that's going to happen tomorrow or next week. Let me explain. You see, we are nearing the end of a period of restrictions. Things are beginning to creep back to life. The government has, over the last few days, began to ease up on some of the restrictions so that some businesses are beginning to reopen. Some aspects of church life are beginning to open again. And some individuals are beginning to go back to work. Now, to be sure, there is no going back to business as usual. We will all have to learn this new normal. But at least we are beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel, as it were. As the world kind of creeps out of this dark hole that we have been in for the last few months, let me ask, are you ready? Are you ready for what lies ahead? Yes, these have been uncertain and difficult days, and there will continue to be some uncertain and difficult days. There are some individuals who have been laid off from work and perhaps over the next week or a few weeks, they would go back to work. There are others who have lost their jobs altogether and will now have to be job hunting. There are others who will have to deal with creditors. After losing their income over the last few months, they now have to reschedule the payments that they have been behind in. Whatever happens, are you ready? Are you ready to give life your best shot? Are you ready to get back in the game? Are you ready to trust God to see you through as we make our way towards the other side of this pandemic? So we are nearing a period of restrictions. Are you ready? We're also nearing a period of reflection. Over the last several months, we have had plenty of opportunity to think, to contemplate, to pray. We've had plenty of chances to reorder our priorities. We've had a lot of opportunity to rest and to 
discover or to rediscover what is really important in life. As we make our way towards the beginning of the end of this period of reflection, let me ask, what are your priorities going forward? What are the things that you have learned over the last few months to really value more than anything else? I want to ask myself, as I ask you, is my life going to be any different on the other side of this pandemic? Is your life on a personal level in terms of your character and your attitude and your outlook, how different will it be as we make our way towards the beginning of the end of this time of reflection? Again, there's no going back to business as usual. We all have to learn this new normal. But let me ask, what have I learned? What have you learned about yourself over these last few months? What have I learned? What have you learned about your family and your friends over these last few months? What have I learned? What have you learned about God over these last few months? As we make our way towards the end of this period of reflection, will our attitude towards God's creation, the environment, be the same or will it be different? Will our attitude towards life be any different? So we're ending this period of reflection. The question is, are you ready? We're also nearing the end of time as we know it. As human beings, we need to remind ourselves often that we weren't placed on this planet to live forever, to live indefinitely. God has a plan, and that plan includes wrapping up all of the affairs of time and all of the affairs of earth. That plan includes our Lord Jesus Christ coming back to earth his second coming. Sometimes we can become so caught up with all the things and all the stuff of life that we forget that we're just passing through. As followers of Christ, we need to remember that, that we're just pilgrims. We're just passing through. And as you remember that, also be encouraged by that. Be encouraged that God is preparing a better place for us, that he's preparing a better home, a better life, eternal life for us. And that's the wonderful hope that you and I have. We can become so bogged down with the day-to-day -day stuff of life that we can forget that. Titus chapter two, verse 13 reminds us that we are waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Every day that we spend here on earth is one day closer to our ultimate destination, heaven at home with our Lord forever. Are you ready? Being ready means asking for God's forgiveness. It means accepting Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and trusting Him day by day as Lord of our lives. If you're not ready, you can be ready today, right now by inviting Jesus to come into your heart and to be your Lord and your Savior. It's been a long 
difficult road these last few months. But here we are by the grace of God. Be encouraged. The beginning of the end is in sight. The beginning of the end of this period of restrictions. The beginning of the end of this time of reflection. The beginning of the end of time as we know it. But there is one thing that will never, ever, ever come to an end. And that is God's love for you. Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 and 23 remind us the steadfast love of the Lord never stops. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. So yes, be encouraged this weekend and in the days ahead. We will get through this. God is still with us and all will be well. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance on you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>